Well, good morning once again. It's an honor and a privilege to stand here again and preach to you this morning. Uh, Brother Wade finally made it safely down to his destination. It's pretty, man. You know, we got to pick fun on him, right? Got around late, stayed the night at a love truck stop. I've stayed at a few truck stops, but I got to stay in a truck with air conditioning and I had a I had a sleeper on it when I was driving 18 wheeler, but I bet that's an experience I'll never forget. It's amazing how busy the world has gotten all of a sudden, right? You're sitting there thinking, I know it's kind of the end of vacation time, but they're in wherever they was at in Mississippi, where why wow, the motel is packed. Seems like everything's packed. Everything's getting expensive, everything's just getting plum busy, right? Well, I'm glad we're here this morning, and we're not too busy to come here and rejoice and worship the Lord together. If you've got your Bibles, please turn in the, the Old Testament book of Nehemiah, Nehemiah chapter 1. I'm going to be talking to you this morning about one man's prayer, one man's prayer. Uh, it's been a busy past couple of weeks for my family and I, and uh, you know, with the wedding of Robert and Elena, and then we had... The church, I was very busy as well with VBS, and what a wonderful time that was. It was a lot of great decorations, and thank you for those who worked in VBS, and, and I just pray God was glorified in everything. You know, we may never know how many lives we touched, but we made sure that they heard the gospel, and I just want to thank each and every one of you workers who who done that, and thank you to the children's directors who put it together a lot of work I don't